All right, today I thought we'd do something easy and a little different. I've got some printables here. These are in the, um, the free printables over at paperminis.com. I'll put a link in the blog post. Anne has a bunch of wonderful printies, both for sale and some freebies. And we've been having really, we've went from having really, really wet and cold to like record-breaking hot weather in the last week. So it's kind of hot. It's a nice time to be outside. I decided that maybe the dollhouse dolls would like to take advantage of the good weather because I'm assuming they have as good a weather as I do. And I'm going to make them up the four different picnic um, pages of free printables. Just something fun. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with paper minis, be sure and go over there and check the site out. Um, these She has complimentary printables available. You'll have to subscribe to her free newsletter, I think, and then you'll get a link to the printables. But let me get set up. Let me get out some glue and my stuff to cut with, and let's get started. Alright, so let's start with the salt and pepper shakers. Now this particular page has quarter inch scale, half inch scale, and one inch scale. We're only going to use this one. Um, so I'm going to cut these free from the others. Underneath my paper I do have a self-healing mat. Oops. So what I shouldn't do is cut without the guide. There we go. Now, the first thing we are going to do is line up an edge. Now, I use this ruler. This ruler is really not thick enough to use this way, but I do use it. Um, so we're just going to cut these out. Now, some of you guys are prob probably a lot of you are familiar with Anne's site. I've been doing lots of tutorials on her product projects of her. Um, different things over on my other videos, my other channel, and I thought, well, I ought to do some over here. It'd be fun and a little something a little different. I'm running way behind this week. Um, I'm actually filming this on Saturday to put it up for Sunday. I normally have my video already uploaded by now. Really don't like being this far behind. So we're just cutting this out. I'm going to cut those out after I get this next step done. Come on. Now, I like to roll these around a something skinny. In this case, a toothpick. Because you want to get this so that it wants to be um, round. I just printed these out. I downloaded the PDF file that they're on and I printed them out uh, with no borders on my printer so that they would be full size for what they're supposed to be. And I need a piece of scrap paper there. I don't work. And this is not the glue stick I wanted, but it will work. No, it won't. All right, back with a glue stick. I thought I had everything. Jeez. It's been one of those days all day long. And I like these, I like this one for my printables because I can see, I'm not a big fan of glue sticks. And this particular one, I can see when it's wet and when I've got the surface really well covered. Now there's a little dotted line to line up, and I got it. You know, let's line up your end with the dotted line, and then it should fit the top and bottom. And make sure you have the labels out. I 
Normally I would use my curved scissors to do the next part, but I couldn't find my curved scissors today. And I still don't see them on my table. I have this fear that you guys are looking at the curved scissors on the table and I'm not seeing them. Okay. Kind of roll them so they get round again. Now, if you have a hole punch the correct size, you could probably line a hole punch up with this, but I don't know, I don't have one that's this size. So I'm going to do my best to cut it out as round as I can. If you hold the scissors pretty still, and you turn the paper, you'll get it a little more round. It's in my way now. And if it's not perfect, you can sand it off with an emery board if it sticks out. This particular, this page anyway, I don't know about all of them, most of these come also in Barbie size and some of them come in the one-third scale for the 18-inch dolls. this yeah that way now reach over here and grab my glue I'm gonna use some Tombow mono aqua glue make sure that you get the bottom of your containers onto this piece of paper We can cut out the tops. Just like in real life, there's fewer holes for the pepper top and there's more holes in the top for the salt. So I'm going to hopefully cut this out fairly carefully. Okay, so this is a salt one. And that's pepper. Get the salt down on. Oops, come on. Go back together. Now these can sit off to the side and get dry. I'll go ahead and cut the top for the pepper. I'll let these dry and I'll set up for the next page. All right, so our next one is going to be the Vintage Look Picnic Linens. It's got a tablecloth and four napkins. And we're going to form it to fit over the table, the uh, picnic table that I made a fall quite a while ago. I think that's a video. So we are going to cut this.
Oops. we have a score line and since this is just printer paper it's a high quality printer paper but it is just printer paper so I need to be careful when I score so I don't score too deeply it is possible to um, actually tear your paper with your score lines off at an angle across the ends so that we uh, don't have too much overlapping at the corners. Alright, get out our glue stick again. You also, on some printers anyway, you can print on fabric. Uh, there's methods, if you look online, there's methods to print on fabric. This could probably be printed on fabric and be really cute too. I've never done that, but I think it might be kind of neat for this. All right, now I have my picnic table. Now you could either put it on straight or at an angle. I think, I think the dolls want it at an angle today. Eh, maybe not. It's not fitting very well. We'll do it this way. It's a little big for the picnic table, but that's okay. That happens in real life, too. And I'll sit something on it and let the paper set up. Now let's go on to our next item. Oh, we're not done yet, are we? We've got napkins. Oh, I almost forgot the napkins. Duh. I'll do one napkin on camera and I'll do the rest off because it'll just be the same thing. And basically it's not that different from what we just did. We are going to cut out our little squares. Again, and then cut the corners off.
I always try to pre-fold before I try to put anything together. I'm just going to glue the sides back and then I'll let the glue dry before I fold these up but you can leave them out or you can fold them into quarters however however you think your dolls like their napkins I don't know So that just needs to dry now. When that's dry, don't worry about the glue on the front. That will dry clear. And when that's all dry, we can fold it. I'm going to go on and do the other three, and then I'll be back. All right, our next one is going to be the plates. And we have, I like a little napkin holder. Uh, there's a pattern for napkins, so if you haven't printed off these or you don't like these, you could use this to, um, to make some other napkins. And there's also two sizes of plates. I'm going to cut out the plates off camera because it's going to take a while. And when I get these cut out and this cut out, I'll be back and we'll do it. We'll put all the parts together. All right, now everything is cut out. So this little napkin holder has some places. Oops, I missed a spot. This needs to be. And some of the spots are already, they kind of naturally want to fold on them so short, such short spaces I'm not going to bother to have my ruler in my way. Just trace those lines. And the center. Now, get my scrap paper out. I'm going to fold this in half and glue it. This last batch of glue sticks I got, I cannot get the lids off of them. Right. Put that there. I'm going to trim it up so that it's even on the top side. There we go. Now this one I'm going to use the other glue for. Fold up. We're making a little box for the napkins to go into. There we go. We have a little napkin holder. Oh, and then it goes on here. Ah. Now we need to form our plates because we don't want our plates to be flat. And what I have here is just a circle template. And I have that one, this one. A ball tool like I use for my clay. You could use anything with a round end on it. These are about three quarter inch circles, so we're going to go down one size. See if that'll fit. And two sizes. Mm, 
and we're just making a rim. Trying to keep this centered. Hard to do when I don't have my head right over the um, in the way of the camera. And there we go. With the one with the big ones, we're gonna go to probably about a seven eighths seven eighths of an inch. This is so much easier to center when I don't have a camera that I'm trying to stay out of the way of. There. I'm going to form the rest of these plates and then I'll get our picnic box out and we'll put it together and then we'll see this all put together. All right, so here's our picnic box. So the first step in our picnic box is to score fold lines. And this one has some other long fold lines. Hopefully I'm not getting my head in the way. Remember, score gently because this isn't a really heavy paper. I thought about doing this one out of cardstock, but I was afraid it would be a little too heavy for the size box and just on the tabs. Right. I'm going to cut this with scissors, I think, because it's so small. That would be really handy if I had my hole punch out, which I'll probably have to go run over and get here as soon as I get this cut out. Because we are going to need to punch some holes to get to our little bits in the middle. Since this detail work on the top is going to take a while, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to finish cutting the top out, and then I'll and go get my hole punch, and then I'll be back. Oh. All right, so now that that's all cut out, I need to very carefully line up. I'm using a sixteenth of an inch hole punch here. Both of those marks, and then... Also, I'm going to use it at each end. Gosh, I hope my head is not in the way of the camera and that you're able to see a little bit of what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of lining the hole punch up with the end of the handle cutout. But there's not, a, like that time I got off a little bit, I got too far out. Alright, now, very carefully, I actually have a smaller knife I'm going to use for this. I have a little tiny X-Acto knife. I don't pull this one out very often. Yeah, you can see that.
if this is sharp enough to cut the paper. There we go, that's actually not going to work. It's not sharp enough. Now, I'm going to pre-fold on my fold lines. First line to get glued will be this one. And I need to get my tweezers. Get it lined up. And that glue will need just a few minutes to set. So when that glue has had time to set up and dry, I'll be back. All right, so this is probably set up enough that I can do this. So let's see if I can figure out how this box goes. Let's see. Oh, heck, I'm just going to do it the way I always do. I have a feeling there's a fancy way to do this one, but I don't know what it is. And there we go. We have a little box for the dolls to bring their picnic in. Let's see if these are, yeah, these are dry all the way. Let's see if I can fold these napkins. So I hope you enjoyed this little project. It's just something fun for a hot day and let the dolls go out and enjoy the hot, the nice weather we're having too. Um, be sure and check the blog post. I'll tell you a little bit about what I've been up to over there and why I didn't have time to do a different video. And uh, I'll show some more pictures. Hopefully I'll get a couple of extra pictures for over there too. In the meantime, be sure and find us on Facebook. The link for our Facebook for the Facebook page is in the description box for the video. Um, I'd love to see you join us over there. We have lots of fun. And come back next time and see what I show you how to make then. Bye.